My arms look so red. Thanks, son. Not like some secret child that I have just the one up in the sky. I've been out and about all day getting props and doing final preparations for a short film that my friends and I are filming starting on Monday. I'm super excited. I'm also a little bit really worried and stressed out, but that's okay. I think it's finally actually going to happen. But while I was at Party City collecting and purchasing various decorative items for our various scenes, I stumbled across something in the checkout line that I was like, check, yes, Juliet, I'm going to buy that right now and conveniently make a video out of it. That item was this. For those of you who did not grow up in the 90s or whatever era this thing actually originated, this is a candy slash toy Wonder Ball? Wonder Ball is the actual name. Candy slash toy is what it is. Or as the official label says, it's milk chocolate with candy, stickers, and toy surprises by Frankfurt. It's also a choking hazard apparently, but we're not gonna worry about that. As the cover kind of suggests, it's basically a chocolate Easter egg, but inside there are toys. This one has monsters and also candies, which is not a thing that I remembered. And you just like open it up and take a bite and see what you get. Now I'm gonna be honest, I don't honestly remember ever actually having one of these things when I was a child. I just remember knowing of them when I was a child and really, really wanting them when I was a child. So I don't know if I have any real memories to base this upon, but I thought it'd be fun to buy it open one up and just see what the Wonder Ball holds for me. And I don't think that's a euphemism for anything. All right, well that, that did not go nearly as well as I was hoping. It just kind of ripped the top off there. It's sort of stuck. It's also, wait, what? Okay, hold on. Here is what is supposed to be the Wonder Ball and definitely, Definitely has something inside of it. I think you can hear that. Shake, 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 shake. But there's also something else inside. It says, keep going, you're almost there. With what appears to be an additional containment device of some kind. It's definitely an additional containment device of some kind. A yellowish capsule. Inside this, I'm guessing, are the monster toys. Yes, that is exactly what they are. Vaguely, uh, vaguely Crazy Bones-esque monster things, except, oh golly, these are grotesque. I mean, this one's kind of cute, but this one's just horrifying. Though I will say, I'm pretty sure that these are suction cups, which is, oh, well, they're supposed to be suction cups, at least. I'm fairly certain that back in the past, this sort of thing did not exist and everything was inside of here. Maybe that's a health hazard at this point, because Stupid government. They don't want people actually putting toys inside of food and then storing it on a shelf for who knows how long. While I'm opening this, I just want to say that I really, really love the rainbow foil. Like, this thing just looks cool. Uh, I was sort of trying to keep it intact, but clearly that is not- Oh! I hope I got that on camera. It's straight up just- fell apart. The thing was open inside the foil. That defeats the whole purpose. I'm supposed to go like gong and then get the stuff out of the inside. Also, the chocolate tastes pretty much like you would expect the world's cheapest chocolate to taste, i.e. not like chocolate at all. Ugh. Now to try one of the candies that was inside. Looks like a horrifying pink monster just like this guy and has now fallen all over my floor because the thing fell apart. That's better. That is definitely better. It's somewhere between a sweet tart and a smarty as far as taste and consistency, and I like that. I'm a big fan, for some reason, of chalky, semi-sweet, semi-sour candies. I just picked up the box, because I was gonna throw it away, and there's also stickers in it. Those are much better than the toys, I'm not gonna lie. I also just discovered there's a little, like, catalog of the various monsters that you can get in your egg, and my terrible pink guy is named Too Tall, Too Tall, Too Tall, T-U-T-A-L, and my little yellow guy is named Dowish. And it glows in the dark? It must need more light, but still, that's awesome if it actually glows in the dark. I'm gonna stick him in the sun and see if it glows in a second. I think if I were to rate the different parts of this experience, I would say the candies are number one, the cool foil wrapper, number two, the little monster guys, number three, especially if they glow in the dark, that might even bump them up to number two, we'll have to see. And number four, definitely the chocolate. I'm trying to do air quotes, but my hands are full, it doesn't work. I think it does actually glow in the dark. His little tummy and his little eye, they're number two now. I just realized I forgot to put the stickers in that ranking. We will put them after the candies, but before the monsters at number one and a half. In conclusion, Wonder Ball. I'm pretty sure those are not as awesome as I remember, but like I said, I don't even know if I really remember them. Deuces. Deuces. <laughs>